Hello, welcome back to the HVAC Budget Channel. Today we have the Leatherman Rev to review. So this will be one of Leatherman's cheapest tools, I guess. This is probably Leatherman's cheapest full-size tool at this time, retailing for around $39. So you can find this on Amazon, Home Depot, different other major stores sell this. So this will be basically Leatherman's basement budget full-size or fairly full-size multi-tool. So let's go ahead and start with the pliers. You'll notice that these come and taper together to make a really nice close right there. They meet very well. You do have obviously the notch uh, to use that for bolts and so forth. And then let's go ahead and look at the wire cutters. So on some of these cheaper tools, they have a hard time cutting stranded wire. We've got to get this just right, but it does actually cut fairly well. So I was fairly impressed with the Leatherman Rev. I've seen other multi-tools really get caught up on this stranded wire cutting. Now down at the bottom, you'll have the tougher for, for cutting uh, larger wire and so forth or harder wire cutters. There will be no crimper, again, because this is the Leatherman's budget model. All right, so I did want to mention, I think in some of my other videos, I have really gotten on to the uh, Leatherman. This is the Sidekick. I've, I've really expressed my frustration, but you can see the huge difference between these types of cutters right here. I may have gotten a bad set it could be that I need to return those, but I have seen other people say that theirs is the same. I just personally have a really hard time cutting. I guess maybe if you keep it just on the end, you can cut it, but it is a little bit harder and you have to put a lot more force. And personally, I like the Leatherman Revs cutters a lot better. So I was surprised. I'd, I'd read they were different than the Leathermen's, uh, than the Sidekicks, and so I was pleasantly surprised that I actually think these are a lot better, even though this is about $20 cheaper than the Sidekick. I think the pliers actually perform better. All right, so we also have the pocket clip, uh, pretty much the same as the uh, Wingman and the Sidekick as well. So the, the Leatherman Rev has that as well. And then we will fold this up and we will look at some of the other tools. Um, actually, we have the knife here. And one of the things I wanted to share, I was reading one of the reviews or actually listening to a review, I think the Leatherman Rev, before I bought this. And uh, one of the reviewers, I forget his name or I would give him credit, but he mentioned that he skinned a whole deer uh, with this knife on his Leatherman Rev. So uh, I thought that was a pretty good testimony. I have not obviously skinned a whole deer with this, but it does seem like a very good sharp knife and it seems to perform well. I've been carrying this for uh, EDC and been really happy with the Leatherman Rev, surprisingly. Um, I've been pretty surprised at how nice it is. All right, so we have the ever-present can opener, uh, bottle opener, sort of that combo tool. Then we have a little bit of a file on the one side. File on the one side and a depth gauge on the other. So I'm not sure. I don't use a file much, so I am not an expert on what makes a file extremely good, but this one seems a little bit small for most tasks, but you do have it there in case you need it. All right, and so then on the other side, you do have the package opener, and I was sort of excited looking forward to this, and it is very sharp. I really like this option. So especially at Christmas time or when I need open packages for my kids, this will come in really handy to remember to take this with me. And I just really like that option. Now, as you probably already know, some people or many people have modded the can opener. If you're not interested in using the can opener, or you don't use it, you can actually put an edge on this. And so you can essentially make it similar to the package opener. So that's something some people have done. So really nifty tool. Before I go on further, I did want to mention none of these tools are locking. So they're just slip joint, but 
when I say that, they snap in place very well. So this isn't, you have to have a lot of force before this actually moves. All right, so going on to the last side, we do have the nice wide driver and then the two-dimensional Phillips. Now, I really like it when multi-tools add these long drivers in. I like the, the, the wide and then also the micro drivers when they're uh, the flat edge, not the eyeglass drivers. I, I haven't found a whole bunch of uses for those, but the, the smaller uh, screwdrivers, I like when those are added. So we also notice we have this uh, screwdriver here, and some people I've read that they've complained that they don't really like this, but I feel like it fits in for what I need use for. It really works pretty well, so I don't really have any complaints. I feel like it, it works, it seats in, uh, seems to really work pretty well, so I think that's a pretty good tool as well. All right, so overall thoughts, I would say the positives for this tool are definitely its size. This is a very light tool. It definitely is compact and easy to carry, and it does a really good job of being an everyday carry tool. I like that it has a pocket clip. That's something some tools don't always have. And then I also uh, like as well that the pliers actually do cut and that they cut easier than some of the other pliers I've had. So overall, I think this tool is a really good tool. Some of the negatives, I guess, if you were to find any is, is it a Leatherman rebar? No, it's not. Uh, Leatherman rebar is gonna be around $70, it's around 40. So this does not claim to be a rebar. So is it a surge or a wave? Again, no, it's not. But for the price, I really do feel like it has a fair amount of value. And I would have to say that comparing it against the Sidekick, I don't know where the Sidekick right now on the Leatherman's website, I believe is around $60. Is it worth paying 20 more dollars for a saw? Maybe. If you use a saw every day, I rarely ever use a saw in my multi-tool. I think one of the first times I did was today actually. I was doing some trim around the house and I actually took out my rebar saw and it worked really well. And on the sidekick, you do get the serrated edge instead of the package opener, but that's pretty much most of the difference. So this is spring opening pliers. On the Rev, you do not have spring opening pliers. So that really doesn't bother me, but I guess for, um, for the extra $20, some people may consider that worth it. And I have to say that the cutters, while they do cut, I guess you just have to learn how to cut on the end. I just feel like they're a little bit steeper learning curve and I really like the Rev's wire cutters just a little bit better. So that's just my own personal thoughts, but I actually gravitate more to the Rev as a better budget tool. All right. So that's it for the Rev. In the future, I'm going to be comparing Leatherman's budget tools, and we'll be seeing what is best for you. But for now, that's all. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.